My name is Garnett Bolden, 31 years old. I'm from uh, Richmond, Virginia. And um, music been my life ever since I can remember. You know, uh, growing up in the church with my mom directing on music and stuff like that. So, been the greatest thing. What got me to doing music, basically, I do remember um, hearing Music Soul Child was uh, really what influenced me to start really searching for like the soul genre. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew that was the sound I was going towards. So me doing music first started with band, playing the trumpet and stuff. Shout out to everybody in Fairfield Middle School who started with me and everything. But um, they, they knew I was doing beatboxing and everything. That's how I started doing the music and everything. I started rapping, uh, recording my first project, and rest in peace to my brother Rizzo, who passed away as well, who gave me my first shot at my project while I was rapping on that as well. A mixtape, actually called Next Revolution Mixtape. It was my, my first step into recording myself as, as an artist and actually getting the chance to put it out there and hearing the feedback that everybody was giving me that I, this was something I could actually do. So, pretty profound moment, yeah. Artists that influenced me was, for me riding around, definitely remembering my mom old Chevette, the hatchback Chevette from Chevrolet. We used to always listen to Anita Baker, Shaka Khan, uh, Whitney Houston, uh, Prince, all those type of things. And then I remember even my mom back in the day, she cut a couple of times in, in the studio and did some Anita Baker. So we used to always play her tape and uh, rewind it back and stuff like that, which is strange looking back at it now. That was kind of like an influence too, that sparked in my mind to, to be able to do some things like that. Music Soul Child, of course, D'Angelo, Marvin Gaye, you got Al Green, James Brown, Don Legend, man, Anderson Pack right now, definitely dope. There's a whole lot of people, man. The first project album ever I had was Know Your Soul. The first thing that I had was a mixtape called Seductive Sounds, I think I had released. I, it was like 10 songs or something like that. But I think it may have been when MySpace was going on and everything too. We did real good with that mixtape and stuff was passing it out just when I was still doing a whole lot of exposure shows and everything. And we had it all out of, over the city and stuff. That's actually how I ended up leaving Clef Dollars, uh, one of our producers as well. But after that, I recorded a album with a couple of producers here in Richmond and we did like 12 songs songs on it. We was gonna call it The Balance and we had some other things. We had even had the album cover ready and all that, but it just never came out. Then the last project, which I did with my brother Dolomite, Tim White, we did uh, Know Your Soul, which actually came out 2016 in May. And that actually changed a lot for, for everybody within my circle. We were able to do make a whole lot of moves and I plan on bringing a whole lot more opportunities to everybody who around me, you know. It's crazy because um, how we think we had these conversations before. Let's talk about first uh, R&B to now, you know, and soul and what they call it stuff now. Because, I mean, back in the day, you talk about Teddy Pendergrass and all them. They were considered R&B. And, you know, I mean, real, you know, even though they had some great sexual songs and stuff like that, but they were changing the world with a lot of their messages and stuff like that. But now R&B has transitioned to more of a place of partying, more about having sex with women, you know, frivolously and all that type of stuff like that to where it's not more of a message with like James Brown and all of them doing. That's that's what I miss because I miss that like live instrumentation and you know the composure and all that stuff like that of what they were doing back in the day versus now. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of evolution, but you know, that's just resonates with me. From the rap to trap. Yeah, man, uh, you know, we all got our opinion on that. The rapping back in the day, I felt was too. Even even back then when I was young, I felt like it could be stepped up a whole lot more. We talking Sugar Hill Gang stuff and all that, you know what I mean? And as it progressed and everything, like I said, with uh, Rock Kim, Big Daddy Kane, and all of them started bringing new ideas and new concepts to the game and rapped and everything like that was really what I what I liked. I seen really going in a good direction. And then in the era of Jay Z and DMX and all of them, when they started coming out and stuff like that. That really started taking a turn to the best, of which everybody thought hip hop was going to go. And then now we talk about the current state with the little Uzi Burt. Whatever may have, you know who it is out there who's doing this up, what they call mumble rap. I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all them niggas sound the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. It, 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 each time it has its place. But when you want to party and turn up and stuff like that. But for me, in my mind, and how I think, I'm trying to do is bring the evolution back to the real music, but still keep a modern tone to it with the production and everything.
I think that this is really dope what AK Studio is actually doing to reach out to artists that they think are dope and tell them that they actually want to give them exposure on a national level across seas in Belgium and to whoever, whoever that, that network is because these are things that we work hard to try to get and sometimes people don't obtain these goals and um, I feel like God is working in my life really making things happen for us to, to get there. I think that AK Studio is uh, really dope because this is what the industry used to be for for when DJs and, and you know entertainment companies back in the day used to break an artist. If they felt like you were good, they would reach out to you and they would give you that prime exposure. Whereas now people, I feel like, are trying to hold the keys and take them with them to their grave versus giving you an opportunity. So I much blessing to AK Studio for that. Yes, we actually have plans coming over there maybe later on this year. Uh, I was I wanted to go, I would say, August or September. We will see how, how things work out for our schedule as well because right now we steady booking in shows and um, interviews and all that stuff like that. So, I mean, but we definitely going to make it happen in the future. That's I wanted to live. Yes, I do. Merci, l'ami. And uh, thank you, AK Studio, for giving us this interview. Much appreciated. Soul Music. Make sure y'all go check out Know Your Soul. My brother Dolomite, uh, Tim White. We all got another project that's coming y'all way as well that we're about to release and put on all digital platforms as well for the people. So I thank you. AK Studio out. Till the next time. One love.